Today, I'm going to make a small pot of menudo rojo with hominy. This is going to be good. I'm going to be using two pounds of honeycomb beef tripe, and I'm going to clean it well with salt and fresh lime. And I will be scrubbing this. I'm going to soak it in water, and I'm just going to repeat the process three or four times until it is cleaned well. After cleaning it well, you'll want to cut into bite-sized pieces. In a pot with about two and a half quarts of water, I'm going to add my prepped beef tripe. I'm also going to add one mashed clove of garlic and I'm going to peel half of a small onion. That'll be going into the pot, along with one bay leaf. So I want to bring this to a rolling boil. I'm going to cover with a lid to expedite that process. Once it comes up to a rolling boil, I'm going to remove the lid and let it cook for about an hour and a half. You'll want to start the cook time once it looks like this. You'll want it at a rolling boil and then start your hour and a half cook time. Earlier, I prepped my chili puree. Here, I'll be using three guajillo chiles, and I'm gonna remove the stems and seeds. I'm also going to use one chile ancho, some people call these pasilla, and one chile arbol, and I will remove the stem and seeds. Now, if you want it spicy, leave the seeds in the chile arbol. It'll definitely add a kick. So, I'm going to place them in a pot of water, I'm also going to add two cloves of garlic and I'm going to cover with a lid and bring this up to a boil. Once it comes up to a boil, I'm going to shut off the heat, cover with the lid and let it steep until the chilies are soft and pliable. I'm also going to be seasoning my menudo with cumin seeds and black peppercorns. Actually, this was a bag that came mixed and I'm just going to grind this up. I'm going to use one teaspoon of this combination of spices along with one teaspoon of Mexican oregano. Here in my blender cup, I'm going to add my steeped, softened and soaked chilies along with the garlic and the oregano and ground cumin. Here I'm adding one cup of beef broth. You can just add water or the soaking liquid if it's not bitter. Mine kind of tasted bitter. Now puree well. So my beef tripe has been boiling for about an hour and a half. As you can see, a lot of the liquid evaporated and cooked out. So I removed the bay leaf and some of the onion that was left in the pot. And now I'm going to strain in my chili puree. Next, I'm going to add two more cups of low sodium beef broth. You could add water. This is a 30 ounce can of hominy that I rinsed and drained. Now an extra cup of water, give it a mix, and I'm gonna bring this to another rolling boil. Now, the liquid that you're going to be boiling this in, you may need to add more water throughout the cooking process. It just depends how high and hard of a boil that you have. So I'm gonna add salt to taste. You'll want to start with a half teaspoon of salt and just work your way up from there, tasting it, and it is to your preference. So I'm gonna give this a stir and let this cook and boil until the beef tripe is tender. It should take another 45 minutes to an hour. And once it's done, it's time to serve. I'm gonna garnish with freshly chopped onion, cilantro, a squeeze of fresh lime, and it's time to dig in. This is so good. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.